Hey Rats, I'm Jay Rat, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go back in and check out some more No Man's Sky, except today we are going to try it out in PC VR, specifically a Rift S, which I'm super excited to see what this looks like on PC versus PSVR. I wanted to say a quick welcome and thank you to Retro, Randy L, TX Maverick, and Steven Williams for all subscribing. Welcome to all the new subscribers, and thank you to all you who are still here. Let's get in and see what it's like on the Rift S. Wow, so already I don't know what the settings are and I'm not going to be able to get to... I've at least probably got to get myself to where I'm not going to die really fast before I can change options, check settings and all that and tell you. But like, already this is looking great. And one thing that's going to negatively affect how you're seeing it, it's showing a two-eye perspective out there. And so I had to zoom in really close on one part of one eye. So as soon as I... Ah, stop killing me. As soon as I get to a point where I'm not about to die, I'll be able to play some things. My God, this looks amazing. Like, oh, okay, okay. Focus, focus, no dying. Um, oh my gosh, everything is so clear. Wow, the stuff The I don't even know where to start. Everything around is just crazy looking. Like I, I really feel like I'm on an alien planet right now like this stuff is all kind of freaky and menacing looking and it's really cool uh, okay let me just let me just uh i'm probably gonna i'll skip this part through real fast for you because you already saw me do this on psvr try to survive so let me fix my stuff up and then we'll go in and look at some settings and things so now we're not in immediate worry of dying so let's play with some settings here log options all right so Let's look at general options. We'll do a bit more sound effects than music. Since we got the sub pack on, we want to feel it. We're going to switch that to Fahrenheit because I'm a stupid American, doesn't know what Celsius is. Video options, full screen. Monitor's going to primary resolution. 2560 by 1080. So it's probably going to mess things up out there, so I'm going to have to come play with this. Max frame rate 60, on foot field of view, flight field of view. I don't know what all that's going to do. I'm just going to up it and see if I can tell any difference. We're going to turn off the vignette. And we're going to turn off the motion blur. Oh my goodness, this looks so clear. Okay, let's see. So the resolution I upped out there, but it doesn't look like it changed the size. So you're still, you might be seeing a clearer picture now, but you're not seeing, I can't. It's, it's frustrating because the screen is really tall and really skinny. So you're seeing a very zoomed in perspective. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it up just a little bit so that you can see more of what I'm, cause I'm usually looking down in VR more. So you'll be able to see more. If I have my hands out in front of me working on something, you'll be able to see better what I'm actually looking at. Where are VR controls? Turning mode we want smooth. Movement mode we want smooth. VR vignette we want disabled. So here's moving. So how do I engage running? There's Rocket Pack. Oh my goodness. The PS4 Pro needs a patch. Cause like looking at this, this is a whole, this is a different experience. Like this, I feel like I'm on an alien world and I can see so clearly and so far out there. Uh, and it frustrates me cause I love the PSVR. I love the PS4 Pro. Like I know they can make it better. They need to patch it somewhat quick because it, it won't look this good, but it could look... The difference between where it's at now and where it'll be on here, it could look a lot better than it does now. Oh my goodness, this is crazy, though. Okay, I gotta focus. I'm getting overwhelmed by these visuals. So that's how you make a fist. Because I figured that out playing on PSVR that that's how you punch. Because <laughs> apparently you can punch in this. So I can go up and punch this. So this is how I can harvest minerals very slowly. <laughs> how do I run? If I'm moving forward and I hold my right grip, it shows my little running icon, but I'm not actually moving any faster. So it shows my sprinting abilities going down, but I'm seriously not speeding up at all. So I might have to pause and try and look that up and see if other people have addressed that that's an issue. Okay. 
like I said, right now, Rift S, the clarity of the screen, the field of view, this, this looks gorgeous. I really wish sprinting actually did anything. Jetpack works. So I guess to get around for now, I'm just going to kind of have to jetpack my way around. Boy, I wish the running worked. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I think I just figured out the running. It's weird. So if you hold the grip, it takes away your sprint, which I don't know why. But if you push down the right stick, you run. So, hell, we've got that at least. Okay, this part, we're going to skip past. We're going to get the ship going. You already saw that in PSVR, so skip it past. Get rid of it. Right. Ah. Okay, the ship is flying. Oh, gosh. So somewhere out here, I should be getting a signal. I should be getting a signal here soon telling me where the next objective is to go. This is really nice. The lighting in here, the shading is really nice. The fact that I can read all my screens is really nice. Okay, how do I answer this call? How can I get out in space? <laughs> um, oh, shoot. I didn't even know I had missiles. I never figured that out on that one. Okay, incoming message, I know. Okay, so in the last episode, I went to the planet that I'd already seen that I wanted to go check out instead of going where I was supposed to. So now we're going to go to the planet that we're supposed to go to, which is... Oh, ooh, over there. Pulse engine. There we go. So it's interesting when the pulse engine's on this one, I feel like I can't turn. Oh, the lighting is so good that if the lighting is on one of my monitors, I can't even read it. Okay, let's not crash again. No. Stop listing lazily to the left and go right like I want you to. So I thought at first impression that this was a little easier with these controllers than it was the PSVR, but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this is just as difficult. Why stick? I want it to turn this ship this way. There we go. Stop, stop, stop turning that way. Turn this way. Oh gosh, we're gonna crash. Okay, go this. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so I think on re entry, we might have had a little bit of, little bit of glitchy graphics there. Oh, this is cool. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh, what are those? Those are creepy looking. Alright, I'm on this planet. What am I supposed to be doing? And I can actually run. And my ship looks great. Base computer and a terrain manipulator. Base computer will hold more information about whoever's leaving these messages. Extract those plans. Alright. So I get to build stuff. Build a base computer. Install. Terrain manipulator. Perfect. So do I change you? Oh wait. Terrain manipulator. What the heck? Okay. So, <laughs> so we can dig holes, which is kind of cool. Although I'm guessing there's probably some reason to do this. So let's look for what I need. So I need copper. And get 80 copper. Give me all this. This is cool. There's 80. So now I want to get back to where I put my refiner. I need 40 chromatic metal. Okay. So now that I've got that, I need to build a base computer. Whoop! Aren't you cute? Aha! <gasps> and I've already got carbon. So let's build.
Well, I build a adorable little base. Look at it. Look at how tiny and cute it is. What am I supposed to do now? Okay. Now I want to actually build this thing in the house. In my base. Um, portable research unit. Cute. So now I need to go find some of these underground things. Aha. Buried technology. Oh my goodness. There's one of those creepy things. That reminds me of something you would see swimming in Subnautica. And I'm kind of scared of it. And I kind of don't like that it's right where I need to go. I just feel like I'm experiencing some weird jitteriness. I kind of want to take a look and see how my GPU is doing. So it definitely seems like this planet, the graphics must be more intense. This planet is pushing the GPU a lot harder than the last planet was. And so maybe it's, or maybe it's nighttime and the clouds, I don't know what, but I definitely am worried that your experience out there is being really jittery. So we're going to get the spaceship, we're going to move it over, and we're going to play with the settings and see if we can get them to run a little nicer. Well, now that we've got all that working, <laughs> I think I'm going to stop this episode. We made a base. We found another planet. We learned about technology. I'm pretty excited for everything we got to do today. I'm going to make another video that compares to like what the PS4 actually looks like versus this, trying to find some scenes that are actually the same so you can kind of see what it looks like here. Although be aware, you are seeing, you are seeing it uh, through a very small window, like I said before. So <laughs> thanks for checking this one out, and uh, I'll be playing some more No Man's Sky. I'm going to see if I can maybe get some multiplayer sessions in for you to check out too. So thanks for hanging out today, and uh, I'll see you in another game. Yeah. <laughs>